What is up guys and welcome to our big commerce versus Shopify review. Now that's going to be a video where I put these whales, these two giants face to face and I will compare them to each other because you probably already heard at least a little about these builders and you know that they're pretty popular when it comes to the e-commerce and in fact they're quite similar to each other but they also have their own differences and I believe that you should know them because yeah well these two might look pretty similar. So in this video, I will break down all the important differences between these two website builders. I will speak about their best features, how good they actually are, and later in the video, I will speak about the pros and cons of them, and then I will cover everything you need to know about the big commerce and Shopify pricing. That is going to be an interesting video, so buckle up and let's get started. Okay, so let's firstly check the visuals of both website builders and I precisely speak about their templates. So both website builders offer both free and premium templates. BigCommerce offers 12 free templates to choose from as Shopify only has nine. In fact, these are just numbers, but it all comes down to your personal preference here as templates do look pretty similar for both Shopify and BigCommerce. The premium templates from Shopify can cost you around 100 or $150 as a one-time fee though. And BigCommerce's templates are a little more pricey as the average on 200 bucks per template. Now they're pretty well customizable and you should find them very easy to use. And then of course we want to see the customization options for both of these builders. Straight from the bat, I find BigCommerce to be a little more intuitive than Shopify due to the ability to drag a feature you want and put it in one of the predefined places. So it allows you to add text boxes, images, videos, products, HTML code if you want, buttons and more. That's pretty cool. Now on Shopify, you can add separate sections to your website and then edit them according to your needs, but there is not that much freedom as you have with BigCommerce. As a matter of fact, I've been testing Shopify for weeks now, and I can say that it is not that difficult to use as soon as you get used to it. But in the beginning, it might be quite a hassle and some of you guys, especially if you're not that tech savvy, might struggle to properly edit your Shopify website. As for BigCommerce again, it's pretty intuitive and easy to use. Maybe the biggest difference here is the number of free templates and the cost of the premium ones. Now, continuing this BigCommerce versus Shopify review, let's talk about the e-commerce functionality that both website builders offer. Now, adding products on both of these builders is rather simple. Right now, you can see how Shopify's add product section looks. Everything is pretty simple here as you have every important aspect covered, including the option to edit search engine optimization options on the spot. Now, if we look into BigCommerce, everything is pretty much the same here, except you have a little more features here. For example, you have an option to add a custom field here that allows your customers to write something specific. For example, if they want to have something written or engraved on your product so they can write their name or whatever they prefer. That is if you're selling physical products, for example. Also, there's the option to work on gift wrapping, which might not be something that you will most certainly use, but it's great if you allow your customers to purchase items and send them as a gift for someone. And yeah, you can also work on the SEO options, adding page title, working with the meta description, and editing the URL, which is also cool. The biggest difference between BigCommerce and Shopify is that Shopify allows you to add up to three different variants to your product, which at most cases will be enough. If you're going to be selling, for example, clothes, where you only need to have the size, color, and the fit for your options. But BigCommerce allows you to have up to 250 of them, which is a crazy number, and you're most likely not going to use them all, but it's still more than three and gives a little more freedom over your customization options. But all in all, I would see both Shopify and BigCommerce pretty similar, and they both offer really good customization options for their product pages. Hey guys, and if you're interested to find more information about these and maybe other website builders, you can find more written reviews, comparisons, and special discount codes in the description down below. Or just visit our website, mybestwebsitebuilder.com. Another important aspect that's worth mentioning in this BigCommerce versus Shopify review is the option to add extra applications to your website. Both website builders allow you to do that using their application market and there you can choose from loads of applications. BigCommerce has over 400 of them. I honestly didn't try to count them all as there are just lots of them and Shopify has a pretty similar number which is 
I guess it's just great. I will not dig deep into these applications as they could vary from the main purpose you have for your website. But keep in mind that these applications might cost you as some of them are free and some of them come at a certain price that can go anywhere from $15 to $100 or more dollars per month. But it's good to know that both Shopify and BigCommerce allows you to add applications to your website. Now, there's one more thing that's super important if you're planning on selling online, which obviously you are, and that's the transaction fees. That is like one of the most important aspects. So Shopify charges you up to 2.9% plus 30 cents for every transaction that your customer makes. And these rates can go down to 2.4% plus 0 cents for in-person transactions and 2.4 plus 30 cents for online transactions. Now that's a little slice of the cake that Shopify takes for providing you a quality service. However, they allow you to choose from a list of over 100 payment methods, including Apple Pay, Google Pay, Amex, and so much more, which is absolutely great. Now, on the other hand, BigCommerce, wait for it, drum roll please, they do not charge anything for the transactions. Yep. There is no payment for that and they also have options for the payment methods to choose from but not as many as Shopify does. So you can choose from a list that includes ADN, Braintree, Checkout.com, of course, PayPal, Amazon Pay, Apple Pay, Google Pay and a few others. So as you can see, both have their own strengths here as well as a weakness for each. Shopify does have a transaction fee where BigCommerce doesn't and Shopify offers a wider list of payment methods where BigCommerce has fewer. So now it's time to decide which one of these two e-commerce website builders is better, whether it's Shopify or it's BigCommerce. Well, it's really hard to decide which is better because both of them are great and are really well made and are most likely to be great for most of you. Both are really good for scaling your business. Both have decent free and premium templates. Both have similar possibilities of providing excellent value for you and your customer and are super easy to use. My personal suggestion here would definitely be two. First of all, because they both offer free trials, I would suggest you try them both out, get to feel them a little, and then decide which one is better for you. As a matter of fact, I have trial links down in the description, so feel free to check them out. And then secondly, ask yourself if you're planning to have someone else looking after your eShop. As for example, Shopify will only allow you to have up to 15 accounts with the most advanced plan that they have, and BigCommerce has unlimited staff accounts. So think about that. And then again, you might need to see if those transaction fees are not going to cause you any big issues. However, Shopify, as mentioned just minutes ago, offers lots of possible checkout options, which could be an amazing feature for you and your business. So before we talk about the BigCommerce and Shopify pricing, let's quickly check the pros and cons of both website builders. Starting from the pros of Shopify, I found that their templates are really well made. Their user interface is pretty intuitive and easy to use, although I still believe that someone who is not that tech savvy will still need at least a few hours to get used to that. I love the fact that Shopify offers a Shopify Lite plan, which is super cheap and I will speak about it in a moment, and it has lots of options for payment methods. On the con side, I would say that the transaction fees could be a minor setback for some of you. However, that's like the most I can say, because other than that, Shopify is a fantastic website builder for e-commerce. Now, BigCommerce, as for pros, I found their drag and drop feature to be a great option, especially for those who are just starting their website building journey. The fact that they offer unlimited staff accounts and have no transaction fees is just great. On the con side, I definitely find the fact that their premium templates can cost you around two or 300 bucks hits me quite hard, but they have 12 free ones which you can customize to your needs. But other than that, it's a really good option for your e-commerce site. Finishing this big commerce versus Shopify review, let's look into the pricing. Phew, I will not need to speak here a lot because both of them offer almost identical pricing for their plans. The most basic plan for both Shopify and BigCommerce is $29 per month, which gives you the most of the e-commerce. 
Then goes the better plan for $79 per month and then the most advanced plan of $299 per month for Shopify and $299.95 for big commerce. As mentioned before, you will have the best transaction fees with the most advanced plan for Shopify as well as up to 15 accounts for your staff. But there's one more thing to mention that Shopify offers a Shopify Lite plan which is $9 per month but that's like a plan that's sort of a, an integration to your website that's already live and allows you to add some e-commerce features to it as well as allows your customers to check out on your website using Shopify. And last but not least, both of these website builders offer free trials and we have links for that in the description so grab their deals now and try them out then you'll be able to decide which one of these to choose for the long run so that's pretty much it for our big commerce versus shopify review thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful please let me know by hitting a like and subscribing to our channel plus if you have any questions feel free to write them down in the comments down below and i will do my best to answer them as soon as possible and check out our website, mybestwebsitebuilder.com, for more reviews, comparisons, and coupon codes that can give you a discount for your purchase. This is SideGuide, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.